Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 camp build video. It has been quite a while since I've done one of these. It's been at least two months, maybe a little longer. Um, as a lot of you probably know if you watched uh, my last channel update video, I put these build videos on hold for a while so that I could focus on getting my new Fallout 4 roleplay off the ground because that was taking a, a that needed all my attention so that I could get it done in a timely manner. And now that it's done, now that the Fallout 4 roleplay is off the ground, I can focus on build videos again. So here I am. Um, I don't know if they're going to be regular like every week yet. I got to kind of find my footing with it again and get some inspiration. But I had this easy one to do real quick. And so I may or may not have one next week. But you know, we'll see. I'm just going to put them out as I can. Anyways, before we get started on this, um, I would like to give a quick shout out to one of my patrons over on Patreon, um, Patrick Hjorth. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. But anyways, thank you so much for helping to support my channel. I really, really appreciate it. All right, let's get to this. So this, if you haven't guessed already, is an old fashioned country store, kind of like, you know, Old West style false front store. And I actually built this because several of my subscribers requested that I build one. So here it is. And I'll give you a quick tour before we before I show you how to build it. So I've got the, you know, the covered porch um, decorated with as much stuff as I could possibly fit. And uh, inside I have it decorated to look like a store. Um, I've got my vending machines scattered around so that it's so that they're yeah they're not just all up in rows and and stuff it just i sort of tried to blend them in with the rest of the decor and um i put some adam shop stuff on the shelves and tables just to make it look like there's stuff for sale in here um i got a couple workbenches here i've got as much stuff as i can get up on walls just to make it feel really full and make it feel like this is a store where things are being sold um and and you know if those old-fashioned country stores um if you've ever seen like photos of them from back in the day they were packed full of goods so i tried to pack it as full as i can obviously it's not as full as it would be but it's as good as i can do in this game and i have a few things in my display cases um nothing like really fancy or anything because I just kind of threw some stuff in there um, and some a few magazines I didn't I wanted to fill this magazine rack up but I couldn't find enough magazines I don't usually keep them because they take up too much space in my stash box and I have to use it for other stuff so I don't usually have magazines anyway back here is the employees only this is where the owner of the store lives and I guess that would be you if you build this. <laughs> First, we got a little work area um, slash kitchen. There's a little kitchen and the workbenches. And, and there's, you know, a couple out there as well. But that was mainly just to fill up space. Um, I leave the store unlocked for visitors to come back here and um, use them. And this is the little living area. Got a little sitting area table and a bed and some more decorations so this is a little, a little apartment in the back and in here I've got um, this is my generator room and I have <laughs> three medium generators in here because um, this character doesn't have the mm, the fusion generator plan yet I just haven't had time to go get it <laughs> to go do the powering up uh, quest uh, event to get the generator plan. So I have three medium generators and I have a windmill back here as well. So that's enough to power up my my two water purifiers. So anyway you guys that's a that's it. That's the basic tour. I mean it's it's a pretty basic building. Oh and um, before I forget I'll show you where this is on the map. If you weren't able to tell yet, um, it's right here. Um, this 
somehow I haven't discovered it yet, even though my camp is right next to it. This is the Tiger at Water Treatment Plant, um, Summersville. Uh, this is a pretty low level character. This is my builder. And since I haven't been building or doing anything on my build character in a while, um, <laughs> she's still level like, I don't know, 26 or something like that. I can't remember, but anyway. So anyways, you guys, that's it for the tour. Let's uh, build it now. All right, here is the spot without the building in it. I chose this spot because it's flat and it's right by a road. And um, I thought that was important for a store to be right by the road so that it gets, you know, traffic. <laughs> um, I would place the camp unit about right here in the middle uh, because we need the build border to come all the way back here so you have plenty of room um, the build the build boundary is actually down there um, so you can actually have plenty of room for your house and whatever things you want to put back here I like I put my windmill back here and you also want um, the build boundary to go all the way across the road so that you can um, get the full uh, so you, that you're putting your building pretty much right in the center of uh, the build zone Okie dokie. All right, so let's get started. Um, I put the, the floors, and you can put them however high you want. Um, in my original one, it was as low as it can go. Oh, hold on. I need to move this. Don't forget to move it. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, um, in my original one, I built it um as low almost pretty much as low as it could go um you could put it up higher if you want to it doesn't matter that's your your choice um about right there um i made it so that it's sort of and it doesn't have to be exact there's no exact placement on this but i put it so that it's about even with this crack right here so and then i also lined it up with so that it's parallel with kind of parallel with this dirt gravel line it, it's a, it's not perfectly straight so it's you know <laughs> it's kind of relative I guess but anyways just uh, you know it doesn't have to be exact mainly I just wanted it so that it's parallel with the road as much as possible okay and then we're going to be doing three across, uh, three down like that. And this is the porch. And again, you can you can check the angle that and make sure that it's the angle that you want before you place all of your uh, floor pieces. After you get the porch in, we're going to be putting five more. One. Three, four, and five. And then you can do three more across. Or not three more, but two more. Three more total. And just fill it in. Make sure all of your um, foundations are facing the same direction especially if you plan on putting carpet or linoleum in as a floor because if you don't your carpet and linoleum will look funny and last one there that is mainly uh the floor we're gonna put another floor on for the lean to over there but i'll do that after afterwards okay now let's do walls so i'm using just the basic um wood pieces and you know of course you can make it out of whatever you want but i thought the wood looked more old-fashioned but you know <laughs> anyways um just basically 
fill it in all the way around. And this one is a is going to be a door, actually. And this one is going to be um no not this one. This one's solid. This one's going to be a window. At least in my version, it is. You don't have to put a window there if you don't want to. Okay, there we go. It has three windows, one here and two in the front. And one door, this door will go into the generator room when we put that on, okay? And for interior walls, there will be a door here. And solid walls here. Come on. I'm getting some lag here today. There we go. So this is the main um, storefront. And this is the living quarters in the back. And we're going to put a door right here. Um, doesn't really matter which way it faces. And a solid wall there. And that will be the living quarters. And this is the work area. Okay, and you know what? Let's just go ahead and put um, the lean-to out here. Now, um, when I said earlier that I used medium generators because I didn't have the fusion generator plan, well, I lied. <laughs> no, I didn't lie on purpose. I lied because I don't. I didn't remember. Um, I actually do have the uh, generator. I have all the generators, you can see this. However, um, I didn't use a fusion generator because I wanted this to be a lean-to, meaning half walls. And you can't put half walls next to a fusion generator because the fusion generator is too, too tall. The roof clips into the top of it. So. That's why I used medium generators in here. Um, if you want to use a fusion generator, you can just put a, a normal sized wall, but then you won't have a slanted roof. And so that's that's just your own, that will have to be your own personal preference. So I will just leave that up to you. All right, now that we've got that on, we are going to put the porch railing and this will be done using my method of, well, it's not mine, I didn't invent it, but it's, I use it all the time. Um, I'm not sure who invented it. I can't even remember where I saw it originally. Um, so get the half sized. And then you, um, you can put in the posts on the true corners there like that like so now if you want to you can take those down and move the stair down and move the stair down and move the stair down or if you have um you should have the build budget to add um just add more on the end like this just keep adding them all the way down. Come on, get on there. There. Um, however, if uh, make sure to delete them when you're done or they will start taking up your build budget and you won't, uh, if, cause yeah, if you store them, you, make sure you scrap them when you're done so that they don't use up your build budget, especially on a build like this, when they're very, uh, it's a very large build, especially if you're putting tons of decorations in it like I am, scrap the boards when you're done with them so that, uh, and the stairs, so that they don't take up build budget. Okay, so now that we've got that in, let's put the roof on for the porch. So what we're going to do for that is get a, the, uh, yeah, this one, the flat roof. And we're going to put one in here so that the flat side, the side here that's facing us, is facing out towards the front of the building. And then um, you can snap one on like this. And uh, that way you have this 
uh, beam, not really a beam, but the board facing out. I think personally that it looks better than it facing this way. It looks more finished, if you know what I mean. Anyway, you can grab that and bring it out here and attach it on here and finish it off. So there's the covered porch. And now we can do the roof, the wall, uh, the walls and the roof. <laughs> so um, this is a single story building um, and it has the false front, right? So the false front, um, whoops, that was an accident. The false front has the tall, um, full-size walls going across, I think. Hmm. I think it was the full-size walls. It's building new ones, which is odd, since I only just stored all of the ones I had already built. Yeah, it's the, the full-size ones. And then, um, I put um, a half-size wall up there because, um, well, you know, if you've ever seen pictures of old-fashioned stores like this that have the false front, um, they have a little part that goes up higher than the rest in the middle. In uh, real life, they come more out to here, like this. They're not, I, but I can't do that. Um, so putting that extra little bit on the top there is you know, totally up to you guys whether or not you want to do it that way. I wasn't even sure if I liked it, but I decided to keep it on there. Anyway, now we put the roof on. And unfortunately, I couldn't build the roof the way I wanted to build it. The way I wanted to build it was to put a, a roof like this and then put one like this up here but it won't go on because of this wall um it it it, uh, it collides with that wall and it just won't go in because in uh, in the real buildings they do the, the the roofs go up to a point like this and then down but i couldn't do that so i just had to do this instead <laughs> get up there there you go it works it's not it's not perfect but it works it's a roof Anyway, let's just add the rest of these. Come on. I'm getting lots of lag here. Funny how I never get lag when I'm practicing my builds. I only get it when I'm recording. <laughs> Go figure. Like so. And, oh. Yeah, gotta put some back here too. <laughs> There. And then, of course, put the uh, these little guys in here like this. And in the front as well. I mean, not in the front, but in the, in the middle. Like so. Get in there. Which one is it? Come on. Get in there. There it is. Okay, I had the wrong one. And like that. There we go. So that is um, it. <laughs> that is it. Except for the... Uh, to finish this. So... Uh, before you put the roof on, uh, put in your generators. It just makes it a little bit easier to put them in without, because uh, otherwise they might. Um, don't put them too far back or they the roof won't go on. And put them so that the conduit is facing the house so that it doesn't collide with the roof. And then get it as close as you can. And I um, left a little bit of space between those two to put my camp unit. Um, once I have this all finished, I put my camp unit in there. Okay, now you should you should be able to walk through. I 
I like to put them so that you can walk through and not get stuck. So, just in case you have to repair one of them, and for some reason you can't do a repair all, you'll want to be able to get back there. But, no. You could always just take your wall off too. Anyways, um, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to make, make it perfect just because it will take too long and there's no point. So then you can put, um, well, as long as you don't have it too close, you can put the wall on. There. And a slanted wall. There, and one on this side too. Like that. And then you can put the slanted roof on the top. If you didn't put your um, generators too close to the back wall, you should be able to put these in just fine. Come on, you can do it. You did it. You did it. There, there, no, there, there. There you go. Oh, nope. Nope. Too close. To the back wall. I guess you can't walk through. I could have sworn I made it so that it could walk, you could walk through, but whatever. <laughs> um, if you're wondering why I seem very, uh, well, not, I don't know if I seem very uh, forgetful about this build. It's actually because I built this, this one uh, about two months ago and it's been sitting here ever since. Which one is it intersecting with now? What is it intersecting with now? Maybe it's intersecting with this one. Just move it forward a little. Okay. Yeah, I actually built this about two months ago. Here, let's just put this with the roof on first. Huh, that's odd. <sighs> Bother. <clears throat> um, what is it? Alright, I'm going to take this out and see if I can put the roof on it with it completely gone. Okay, there. Now, you can put them in under a roof, it's just not as easy. Sometimes they like to pop up like that, so you kind of gotta kind of got to just maneuver it in there a little bit. Anyway. Okay. Then connect them together, of course. Don't forget to do that before you lock them into the room. Now, to do I'm I will show you to how to do the the wiring for this build, especially um, concerning the uh, shop wiring how to wire up the shop. But here, let's first get a look. There it is. And also, don't forget to put stairs right here. And right here. And right here. Assuming you have the build budget for them, of course. <laughs> and and then I right, now I'll show you how to do the um, the wiring. So now I like to wire my houses up to so the wiring is pretty um, so that it's it's hidden. Um, so get the either the barn or the metal uh, window, either one. Um, I would suggest using the barn if you're if you're building with wood, use the barn because then you don't have to use any metal. And then um, get the um, power conduits and get the wall conduit like this and put it about right there and it should maybe lower it a little bit. Um, it's not in use. What are you talking about? Okay, that's a new. I don't think I've seen that before. I'll just get a new one. Put it down here then, maybe. 
you should be able to reach it through and attach the wire. There you go. And then once you attach the wire, you can change it back to a solid wall. Okay. And then I like to put my conduits right up along the roof line like this so that they are, you know, relatively uh, hidden. They're not just sticking out in the open like that. So attach, there you go. There. So that will power up that side. And then, um, actually, um, let's store this for a second. Actually, store that for a second, too. Um, I will put one on the inside here. Um, about right there, I guess just to power up this corner and then um, put one let's see down here probably if you well here first um, get the uh, the wall back on this wall and make it a a wood wall. And do the same thing on this side. Um, put one down low. You might have to adjust it. Okay, that's annoying. Didn't used to do that. Nope. Okay. Might have to put it right here. If it doesn't connect, just keep just keep fiddling with it until you get it working. Actually, you know what? I don't need that wire. That conduit probably. I probably don't need that one, come to think of it. <clears throat> if you're not getting decent power in the middle of your wall there, you can put it back but oops <laughs> wrong button and then change this back into a yeah and then put one up here one here and one right on the corner straddling the corner um let me turn my light on i'm getting some pretty dark shadows here at the moment <clears throat> like that so that you can get the wire around the corner and like this there that'll light up the back and then just do the same along this side put one about right here and about right here. Yeah. And then, um, then you don't have big old wires um, strung all around the place. I mean, they're strung around it, but they're not like hanging everywhere and stretched all the way across the yard and everything else like that. Now, I will show you. So that'll light up the entire uh, thing, all sides of it. Okay. Now I'll show you how to wire up your shops. So let's grab some shops, vendors or whatever you want to call them. So I put one here. Figure out where you want your shops to be. And I put one here. And one here. Now, I'm gonna show you how to wire just one of these. They're all basically the same. 
So you can see we've got a conduit here. So turn this into um, a, a barn piece with a with a window like that. And then you you can you can um, add another conduit, which is what I like to do, just so that. Um, and put it about right there. Um, or you can just lower this one down, but then you'll have your wire stretching across your wall. I don't particularly like that because then you can't hang anything on your wall. Um, but you know, that is completely up to you. So connect those and then you should be able to connect that in into your store. And then you change this back to the solid wall. And that is how you power up the shop. And so since we put one right on the other side of this wall too, um, changing that in and just repeating the process here and changing it back. And same with the other side. Okay. That's how um, I powered up my shops and uh, it's pretty easy, I think. Now, if you want to put a windmill back here, um, I like to put my windmills up on uh, floor uh, foundations. So, um, so it's a little harder for enemies to reach them, like mole rats and stuff, because uh, they do. They'll go right after your generator. So, um, uh, oh, wait, hold on. To put a generator on the floor, it, it's kind of tricky. And it doesn't always work, especially now. They've changed collision uh, rules for, for things. And it's made it uh, dreadfully difficult. <laughs> but you build two floors... And then get up on them and then center the generator or the, uh, the, the windmill over one of them and build it. And then you take the other one off. And the reason why is because if you just put one up there, it's if you just put one there and then try to put the generator or the the windmill on it won't go on it just won't and for some reason putting two there makes it go on go figure <laughs> anyways i like to um add uh railings around the side the sides of it that you know you can do that if you want i feel like it just completes it a little bit more but you know that's up to you and oh don't forget to put that back your um your wall <laughs> so there and then connect the generator uh, the windmill uh, to just right there it's quite simple and then if you put water purifiers in like I did um, uh, these ones um, you can connect those to, you know, one of your, one of the conduits that are already up there. All right. And that is the build video, everyone. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I would like to hear what you think about this. And if you would like to see any of my other build videos, you can subscribe. Do subscribe to my channel. I have lots of other Fallout 76 build videos and Fallout 4. And also I have a lot of Let's Plays and check out my new Fallout 4 roleplay, Hardcore Survival Mode roleplay. Um, it's very popular right now, so go check that out. And um, also, if you would like to um, help support my channel, you can do that by uh, following the links in the description to my Patreon page and my Coffee page. And you can also follow me on social media, all the links are down below including my um, links to my 
Teespring shop where you can buy official Wasteland Overkeen merchandise if you would like to do that. And I also have a Discord server where you can go and hang out and chat with me and my other subscribers. We have tons of fun over there. A lot going on. It's pretty busy, um, but not too busy that you don't get to know everybody. Everybody's pretty close there, so go check it out. Anyways, you guys, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Until next time, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.